Hey, what's going on, man? It's Big Grime. I got Battery 3. I'm going to show you like a, a cool technique that I use sometimes. It's called a double pitch snare. Well, that's what I call it. Basically, um, you load your snare. Um, you set the loop. So you just turn it on. Just go to the loop page and turn it on. That way, when you hold down the, the key, it keeps looping. All right, then you... um. Go to the pitch envelope, turn that on. No, matter of fact, you want to turn, well, you turn the pitch envelope on first. All right, you turn that on, and then you go to presets, and there's a preset called push and pull. Really, you can use any preset, but I'll use push and pull. That way, when you hit the button, the first snare is going to be affected by the, um, by the pitch envelope, and then the rest of them are not. Notice the first snare is a two. And now I could just mess around with it and just not hold just hold it down long enough for the first regular snare to, to hit and then let my finger off so it won't keep repeating. Because of course if I hold down, it'll keep playing. Or I can use a volume envelope. And whatever I set this decay right here is how long it's going to play. No matter how long I hold down the key. So what I do is I turn this up. But now I don't have to time it. It does it right after and then a lot of times when i'm like making a track i'll have like a the other um i make another key for the save snare which is the regular snare and anytime i want to throw in i can um also what you could do too is go to modulation page and set to midi control and then come over here and set it to pitch envelope and you can set it to K or break but let's just set it to break and make sure that the MIDI control number is on one that's for your modulation wheel your modulation wheel is control number one um, and you can scroll up and change the inner control so like if you have let's say the PCR 500 by Ederol you can set the sliders and knobs to a control number so if you set the control number to 14 now you can use that knob to control the break on that um, pitch envelope but I'm gonna set it to one just for the modulation one just to make things simple and I'm gonna show you the effect of it so I'm gonna turn it all the way down this is what without the modulation wheel turned up this is what is up see that sound real and go real fast So that's a very cool thing that you can use um, if you want to speed up the snare a little bit. Um, if you really experiment, you can kind of get that, um, you know, how they want to speed up the snare or, or speed up the pitch of the snare and have it roll almost like, like the MPC does. It's not quite the same thing, but it's kind of the same effect. Like I used to get like snare, that's how I do some of my snare rolls when I, you know, use battery. I actually use this modulation page and put it on the uh, modulation wheel. And um, you can actually use the modulation wheel and the pitch um, bender at the same time. You actually do that and you can set pitch bend. Come over here. Let's say um, set tone. And now I'm using the pitch wheel. So that's how you can set a pitch bin on the um, on your pitch bin wheel. Um, and you can set it to anything you want. I mean, you can set it to saturation, panning, volume, EQ frequencies, like or filter, filter cutoffs. Um, let's do that. Um, 
So let me turn this filter on. Yeah, I'm gonna set my pitch um, wheel to this cutout filter. So I go to modulation, go to here, filter, cutoff. So now when I move my pitch bend, it's my filter cutoff. So I mean, this modulation page router is uh, it's, it's, it's pretty cool. So, um, but those like just a few techniques. I mean, you can imagine what you could use on. I mean, how you use it on samples, not just just drums. And each individual pack can have its own page router. So that's one thing I like about it. Um, so my next video, what I'm gonna do is I'm probably gonna take a like a loop or a sample and mess around with it, show you different things I could do with it. But that's one technique I, I like to use for snares and, you know, make things a little more interesting. All right. Make sure you check me out. Freebiggrindbeats.com. I got a lot of things going on over there for producers and artists. All right. Peace.